is a virtual desktop simulation for IT essentials. I'll begin by placing the power supply inside the case. Followed by the power supply screws. Next, I'll insert the RAM into, into the mem dual inline memory modules. And I'll close the tabs. Next, I'll insert the second RAM. I'll then begin to place the CPU inside the CPU socket. And close it along with the low lever. Then I'll begin to apply the thermal compound into the CPU, which then I'll place the heat sink above the CPU. Then plug in the cable into the motherboard. The next step, I'll then install the motherboard inside the case. Simple process. Then I'll add the motherboard screws. This step, I'll then insert the video cards. First, the NIC, wireless NIC, then the video adapter. Also, apply the screws. For this step, I'll then place the drives. Uh, first will be the hard disk drive. Then insert the hard disk drive screws. Next is the optical drive. along with the optical drive screws. Then the floppy drive. Oops, sorry about that. There we go. We just insert that. Then the floppy drive screws. All right, for this step, I'll begin by plugging in the 20 pin ATX power supply cable which is here onto the motherboard then I'll insert the 4 pin auxiliary power connector which is here and place it here on the motherboard Then I'll plug in the SATA power supply cable, which is here, onto the hard disk drive, which is here. Simple. Next will be the Molex power supply cable, which is here. And then I'll plug that into the optical drive, which is up here. And then I'll plug in the Berg power supply cable, which is here. 
you can see the floppy drive down here. Next is the three pin, po three pin power cable here, so the case fan, and insert that onto the motherboard. Three pins, yes. Alright, the next step, I'll then insert the SATA cable onto the motherboard. Then I'll plug this end onto the hard drive, which is here. All right, next I'll then plug in the PATA cable onto the optical drive, but first I'll plug it in to the motherboard, then the optical drive. So it should be around here. All right, now that's plugged in, I'll plug in this end onto the optical optical drive, sorry, that is up here. Next I'll then insert the floppy cable to the motherboard. Sorry about that. Use this. There we go. And plug in this end onto this floppy drive. Next, I'll then begin to insert the case panels. Then insert the panel screws. Now we'll begin by plugging in the monitor cable. Like so. Followed by the keyboard cable, which we will place into one of the PS2 ports, which is the purple one. Followed by the mouse. Place that into the green PS2 port. Next will be the USB cable. Plug into the USB port. Scroll down here. Now we then begin to insert the network cable to the Ethernet port. I'll place the wireless antenna, which is beneath the ethernet cable. Finally, I'll then plug in the power cord into our power supply. And that is the simulation of the virtual desktop. Thank you for watching.